Pro came out, came out a little flat. Uh, we knew uh, they were going to come in and give us a game, but we didn't really take it uh, as much to heart as we should have. And, and you know, I can believe Coach Kennedy lit a fire in us at halftime, locker room. But uh, you know, it was, it was good that we figured it out at halftime. I know a lot of teams, you know, not know if it's only the second game, which is a little bit of a concern, I guess. Maybe not, but. I know some good teams have to take a loss sometimes to kind of step back and get a reality check. You know, we beat Mississippi. We know we're not going to play any more Mississippi Valleys. So it, luckily for us, we were able to figure it out at halftime and uh, still make our adjustments and come out a lot more energy, enthusiasm, and have to get get what we do done. So, how important is your emotion in a game like this when the team is flat? You kind of take it upon yourself to be an emotional guy on the team, especially in a game like this. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, normally, normally that's just how I play, but. A game like this is definitely uh, crucial that, you know, someone had to come out and, and be um, an energy guy. The crowd was all dead. So, you know, always got to do something to pick it up. Do you, you, 11 of 24 three-point range the first two games. You happy with that? Nah, it needs to be better. I'm still miss, I'm still missing open shots that I need to make. Um, you know, Coach preaching efficiency with, with me as far as uh, shots will come in spurts. Sometimes, you know, I can get like five or six and – a matter of minutes, and sometimes you might have to go eight or ten minutes just going up and down. Nothing's coming. Just let the game come back. Still need to be a little bit more efficient. I know that percentage I'm at now may be, you know, on the top of the country if I should keep that up, but it's still not good enough. Marshall, did they catch you guys off guard a little bit with how hard they rebounded and played in the paint? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't lie to you. Yeah, they, they definitely did. Uh, but, you know, Coach Kennedy, he was telling us, and, and he definitely made it known to us that he, that he made it known. He was like, you know, I told you guys. Y'all know Coach Kennedy. He's a fiery dude. And, and so, uh, you know, Coach Rocco actually got in, uh, got got into Murphy a little bit and, and at halftime and really sparked something up in him. And uh, um, it, was, it was good for us to, to be able to come out and get our butts kicked a little bit. Got out rebounding. Is the chief concern right now that the, outside of Mark and Reggie, the rebounding and, and getting and crashing the board? And, yeah, that, that's obviously the, the biggest concern that we have on our team. One thing that, that we're working on in practice, uh, you know, if we can, as a team, come together and have really great team rebounding stats, then we know, you know, like I said before, the sky's going with this team. If, if we, That's the one area that, that we're working on it, though, and uh, just got to keep working, can't let up. How hard is it for you, I mean, given where you need to be on the floor in terms of spacing, to then also have to try to crash the boards? Hmm. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think it really matters as much. Everyone just needs to – I know as far as guards, sometimes we get caught standing there and watching a shot because it's easy for us to do that when we know our guys are, are getting back on defense. And, you know, guys like me sometimes tend to think, let's, let's get it and go. But, uh, you know, we, we need to fo focus more on everyone uh, as a whole going to rebound each, each and every time. What do you think, you know, these guys might 